Well, it's going to affect everyone. Whoever you are, you're going to be affected by it. And I feel like the great thing with the climate change group is that you don't have to know about it already. You don't have to be a geographer. You don't have to be a scientist. You can just come onto it and be opened up to the world of climate change solutions. Hello, I'm Peter Cox. I'm a climate scientist based in mathematics and I'm the overall academic lead for Grand Challenges. Hi, I'm Jim Haywood. I'm leading the Grand Challenge on Climate Change this year. I'm Anna Harper. I'm a lecturer in climate science in the mathematics department. My name's Howell Williams. I'm a senior lecturer in data science. You have like key speakers coming in who are really influential in their field of research and it was just brilliant to hear from all these great academics and people working on climate change. Some people are saying that climate change is the biggest challenge facing humanity in the coming century. Other people say it's a hoax, it's a load of bunkum. So who are you to believe and why? It sounds like it's a chemistry problem or a physics problem or something like that, something very techy, very scientific, and it is, it's all of those things. But it's also a very large social problem. Right? The people who cause climate change are people. It's the, the way we live, the economy that we run, our lifestyles, all of those produce the gases that are warming the planet. During the course of the week, you'll be working on aspects of the climate change emergency, both globally and locally at the university. This will include groups that develop educational material by interacting with local primary school children, all the way up to radical ideas of how we might counteract global warming by making the planet brighter through something called geoengineering. Also got a group looking at the critical issue of the interaction between climate change, human health and human well-being. We will also be framing a lot of it this year around the university's new targets to meet the carbon neutrality in the context of the climate change emergency, and you'll be able to feed into that You'll work in your teams to produce some kind of output and you decide what the output is. In previous years, people have made board games, they've made apps for a smartphone, videos, all sorts of different kinds of output, anything you can think of, anything that you think will, will tell your story really well. So you can learn about climate change, but in a fun way and taking action rather than just being lectured at. And at the end of the week, you pitch your ideas to a group of your peers and to an expert panel. During the week, you'll get employment skills in areas such as presentations, developing teamwork, developing networking. I really improved my public speaking, presentation skills, leadership, all those sort of things. But also, it was my first experience with video production and editing. It was the first real social media campaign that I've ever launched. So now I feel a lot more comfortable in interviews and on application forms for jobs, talking about all my skills. Loads of businesses are employing environmental consultants and climate change departments now. So even in terms of your job prospects, having a knowledge of this is really, really important. It was definitely very, very fun because it wasn't too sciencey. A lot of people sort of don't want to pick climate change because it might be sort of on the science side. We were talking about economics, we were talking about politics. We were very much mixing up all the subjects together to say how can we address climate change. We hope you've been inspired by what you've seen. We look forward to you signing up and seeing you in June.